In this tutorial, I will be demonstrating how you can recover a cut mid-program. Click on the configurations icon and access the settings for either an existing or new fab head. Scroll down and check off the corresponding box for cut lead in when returning to toolpath. Confirm these changes by clicking save. The feature we've just enabled is designed for repositioning your torch mid-program when you use the following steps that I will demonstrate in the CNC panel. If you find yourself in the position where you need to recover a cut, use jump to line and the run forward, backward, and feed hold controls to move the tool position to the point the cut stopped. When the plus sign is visible, this means that you are in continuous mode and the play button and reverse button should be solid. If you press run G code while in continuous mode, the G-code will run to completion unless the feed hold button is pressed. If you press the plus button, you are toggling from continuous mode to step or momentary mode. Step mode is indicated by the striped arrowheads. When pressed, one line of the G-code will be executed. Momentary mode is indicated by the outlined arrowheads. In this case, the G-code will run as long as the button is pressed. With the jump to line feature, you can access different parts of the G code in one of two ways. First, with the jump to line button clicked, navigate over to the display panel and click on different portions of your drawing. In the G code panel, you will see the corresponding lines of code highlighted. Be sure to confirm this jump when you are satisfied with your selection. Another way you can do this would be by clicking on the specific lines in the G code panel and then you can preview where it is on the toolpath before confirming the jump. Then use the jog control panel to jog the tool position off of the toolpath to a point that will be off the finished part. For example, if the cutting stopped at the circled corner, you might want to jog the tool position off to where the yellow marking is. The system will use that point as a temporary pierce position and then cut a lead in to the last feed hold position on that part. Then start the program from that point. From here, the program will proceed normally.